Oh, here we go. So this is the Occupy the Auctions dance party. We're trying to stop the eviction of Kim Mitchell. This is uh, Occupy the Auctions action. Um, well, they're he having here an open house of a long-term tenant that they spent years harassing. We're here because PNC Bank acquired the loan of Yin Wong and her family and then told them that they were uh, foreclosed on and then eventually evicted. We are um, trying to get in in the Wells Fargo shareholders meeting. We got some banks that are throwing people out of their homes again. This is uh, the Wells Fargo homeless shelter. Um, here we are again in front of PNC Bank. I want to thank everybody for coming out here today to foreclose on Wells Fargo CEO John Stone. <laughs> Kathy Galvis in the house. Who outside the house? Wells Fargo out the house. Who knocking at the door? Sheriff knocking at the door. Wells Fargo evictions ain't working no more. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> It's going to be a fluke movement a year ago. Now we can tell them Occupy don't die, we just multiply. Well, Wells Fargo's destroyed our economy and they're not doing anything to fix it. Actually, they've uh, made profits off destroying our economy by taking people out of their homes, investing in immigration detention centers, destroying the environment, not paying the fair share in taxes. Happening now, a noisy and last ditch attempt to stop a San Francisco man from being evicted. This is one of the most heartbreaking things I've seen in more than 30 years of activism. I've been in a loan modification program with Wells Fargo for an entire year. I was shuffled from one service area to the next across the United States. Now look at us. We're all over the greater Bay Area and the greater states of America. Her first communication with PNC was a foreclosure notice. Without any notice whatsoever, they sold my house on February the 6th without notice. I only found out because people started coming up the front steps telling me that the house was going to be sold at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We are not taking no for that. We are going to fight and make things right. People are garbage. Peter Breeder, hands off our homes. People are garbage. Peter Breeder, hands off our homes. People are garbage. So nobody knows what's going on, and this is the effect of this. I paid the all time, never be late. I can't afford my mortgage now. I regain my employment and my work, and I know that if anybody would just complete the loan modification, I'd be able to keep in my house, stay in my house. The politicians, the corporations, the banks, they are going to answer to the 99%. Um, have agreed to postpone the lockout for two weeks in order to review the um, claims about Wells Fargo rescinding the sale. Mm -hmm. And um, we already contacted the sheriff, so they should be not coming today. Yeah! 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 Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. Yeah! So you don't never think that you can't work it out as long as you have an opportunity to bond and, 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 and group with others. You know, anything's possible.
You know, like I said, when I was standing as one, I had very, a lot of difficulties. But once I joined up with Ace and Berno Occupy, you know, I had a voice. And they listened. Everybody, free, free lunch on Monica. Free lunch on Monica. Don't feel ashamed. Don't feel ashamed to step up and, and make yourself accountable. Make yourself accountable. I did what I needed to do. But yeah, I screwed up once. But that doesn't make the, the outcome be that I lose my home. You can fight this, that there are people who care whether or not you remain in your home. That I'm so thankful for Ace. I'm so thankful for Occupy San Francisco. I'm so thankful for the community members that have agreed that this is a blight. There are people that you can go to. There are people who care about what's going on with you. You just need to reach out. Don't be ashamed. That was my problem is that I felt ashamed. And without Ace coming to me and helping me, I don't know where I would be.